do you know? I'm back again with another daily upload. It's probably the last day I upload for a while, but uh, anyways, two days in a row. Kind of pog. This is a PvP video. Um, I guess I'll bring up like most of my videos are PVE related, but like, I do play PvP, and I would say I'm a pretty high level player in PvP. And I don't like I like to use weapons that aren't exactly meta. For example, stuff like the Liminal Vigil, and I mean pulse rifles. So speaking of which, we're gonna get into that today with this bad boy right here. So this is from Neo Muna. It's called the Philotactic Spiral or Philotactic Spiral, whichever you'd prefer. I know the shader's fucking sexy, I can see that. That's called Vintage Timber. This thing's freaking, it's literally hot as fuck. But I mean, eventually I'll just toss this bad boy on there. Just gotta level it up. Anyways, so the main thing that intrigued me with this is that I loved Premonition, which I have 18, 800, oh Jesus, 814 kills on it. The role I ran was Slideways Headseeker with 100 recoil direction with Counterbalance Chambered. Obviously I'd prefer stuff like Arrowhead and I'd prefer a different mass work, but you couldn't craft Premonition. What do you know? They reskin the bitch and they add it as this gun right here. And when I saw they had Headseeker, I was very intrigued. However, when I saw the first column, there was nothing really that enticed me very much, so I was pretty disappointed, but then I saw this perk works in PvP. Significantly increased reload range and accuracy when no combatants are in close proximity. I thought it wouldn't work in PvP because of combatants, but this works, like this actually works, and I don't know the exact numbers on the accuracy cones and the range reload and whatever you get, but it is slightly noticeable from my testing. Um, Headseeker is obviously just insane on these pulses because it gives them the 4 crit 2 body. And then Arrowhead for 100 recoil direction. Um, this also gives nice handling, which handling is a must on pulses. Uh, ricochet for the stat buff. Um, you could go high cal here, but I prefer the, sten uh, the 10 stability. Um, targeting adjuster or backup mag, both fine. You could also run like freehand grip, Icarus, quick access sling, even like radar tuner if you're a camper. But I just threw targeting adjuster on here just to get it to be similar to the messenger with 37 aim assist without a targeting adjuster. So this has targeting adjuster puts it to 36 without it, it's 31. So that's why I put that there just for direct comparison. Um, so the main thing with this, it's the first craftable 340, which is huge. Gets head seeker. It gets a nice new perk, which the messenger is, I'd say the best pulse in the game because rapid hit head seeker is a great combo, but some people don't like having the inconsistent stability and stuff. So, and also it's in a different slot. So do I think it's better than the messenger? It's personal preference. I would say it's honestly, you can flip a coin. The main difference is what you can use in the different slots. Like for example, in the secondary slot, you could run like a wave frame, a shotgun, a solid fusion. Um, the connect slot, there's no wave frames, which I love wave frames in PVP. Yeah, call me whatever you want. They're just busted. But I love the blicky right here. The liminal vigil, the blicky, because tap the trigger on this thing is permanently active and it is so OP. So I'm doing this pairing for the video you'll see, just the test I did. It's my first game with it and I mean, 23 kills with it. That's not bad for one game and high, like, high skill based matchmaking quick play. I'm excited for trials to come around to really give it a test. Uh, shout out to this legal action too, because 22 zoom on longer maps is really, really broken. But for most maps, I think this combo is gonna be great. If you want to run Messenger with a Wayframe or Matador or Found Verdict or name your fusion rifle, it's also solid. But to first craftable 340, it's very exciting and I mean look at it. It's fucking sick. So I'm pairing it with Aphidians, so I guess that kind of diminishes the gameplay because you don't, like it's 35 handling for free, but even without Aphidians, this gun feels great. Uh, just targeting mods, dexterity mods, unflinching mods boots whatever um, this I didn't really bother with doesn't matter just I want you guys to see the gun so here's some gameplay of it I hope you enjoy and if this video does well maybe I'll level this up and make a video on this thing because it is intriguing as well but probably not great 
Anyways, enjoy it. Take those zones, and hold them to your last breath. Enemy claimed zone C. Zone A captured. Two for one. Triple down. Zone B lost. Enemy has advantage. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. That's a power play. You took them, now hold them. See lost. They have advantage. You have advantage. What can stop you if you fight together? Yeah. 
you're scaring them. They'll never want to match with you again. Zone B lost. Enemy has zone advantage. You have zone advantage. Zone A lost. Five minutes left. Keep it up. Don't see, Lord. Your enemy has a power play. Zone A captured. Enemy has a power play. Three minutes, you're winning. Stay strong. Two for one. You captured zone B. Zone advantage is yours. Victory is yours. Zone C lost. Enemy has zone advantage. You captured zone A. You have advantage. for a better victory. Your victory gives the city hope, Guardians.